Hey guys, Darren from Track Campus here. Firstly, congratulations on purchasing your new Talawana X15. And today we're gonna to do a quick handover video to help you set your van up for your first trip away. So come on guys, come with me. So up the front you have your hitch and your jockey wheel, but because we're not ready to put this on your car yet, we're gonna come back to it. Up the front you've got your breakaway. So this is designed to put the electric brakes on if all of this fails and you drive off. And what'll happen is you'll pull the cord out. Brakes are on the van now. Biggest thing I'll say to you is if you leave this out, your electric brakes are on, you're there drawing power, you will flatten your batteries. So make sure every time you unhitch, this always goes back in. What you wanna do is put the ridge up the top and you're just sliding it in like that. Make sure it clicks. Behind it, you've got your mechanical handbrake. Always remember you've got a handbrake on the van. Your car has a handbrake, your van has one too. Definitely don't drive off with your handbrake on. Then you've got your cold water tap behind it. So when your pump's on, cold water will come out. Above it, you've got storage on this side for your three 20 litre jerry cans. And then on this side, you've got your two nine kilo gas mounts. So the Talawana can accommodate two nine kilo gas bottles, has a built-in regulator, and the little tap at the top is the easiest way to choose which tank you wanna take the gas from. The best way to look at it, whichever way it's pointing, that's the gas bottle you're taking gas from. So if it's facing this way, it's this gas bottle. If you're facing this way, it's this gas bottle. So as you come around the driver's side of the van, you've got your stabilizer legs. So all you're gonna do is pull the blue handle out, lower your leg down, and then we're gonna grab the tool and wind it down. So as we make our way back further along, this little point here is where you're gonna hook up to mains water if you're at a powered site. So all you're doing is taking the little um, cap off there, screwing the hose in, and then you'll have powered water. The biggest thing you need to remember though, when you're plugged into mains, that'll override your tanks. When you're off grid, you have to use your tank water. Speaking of tank water, there's two fill points. So you have a 120 litre tank at the front, 120 litre tank at the rear. This is the fill point for your front tank, and this is the fill point of your rear tank. And while we're talking of water, just next to it, you've got your external shower. So this has a hot and a cold tap with a shower rose. And then as you can see behind me, it comes with a shower tent as well. So this is removable. So you can have that narrower towing profile and to put it back up, it's just sliding it in, sliding it down. It's easy as that. Now, when we're talking showers, you want to talk hot water. So the van comes with a hot water system, which runs off gas and electricity. When you're running it off gas, this vent cover on the outside has to come off. Best thing I can say is when you push here, the two little tabs at the top move. So you push in, pull back. Have it clear like that. Now it can't be, if you want to tie something to it so that it hangs there, it has to hang all the way down. You can't have it sitting like that because that will still not let it vent correctly. Uh, and can throw an error code on your hot water system. So always have it completely clear like that. Tying it off is not a bad idea so you don't drive off without it, but make sure it hangs fairly loose like that. And then when putting it back on bottom first, lock it in, easy as that. We'll come to the external charging point for your van. So this is a 15 amp inlet. So you will need a 10 to 15 amp adapter to do it. But when you plug in here, this will power your aircon. It'll also charge your batteries at the same time. And due to the automatic transfer we have in the van, this will also power up all your power points. If you're off grid, your power points will only run off the 2000 watt inverter. So now we come to the toilet cassette. Normally when I ask whose job's this, someone points and smiles, the other person goes, oh, it's mine. But anyway, I'll show you the easiest way to do it. So just below, you're gonna have a little lever. You just wanna lift that up, slide the cassette out. So what you're gonna do is this turns to the side. You're gonna unscrew the little cap. And there's a little yellow button at the rear just here. So what you're gonna do is push that down and pour it all out. That breaks the air seal. Once you're finished, lid back on, turn that back to the side. And then the biggest tip I'll give you, cleaning up out here is a lot easier than trying to clean up in there. So always make sure it's in nice and snug like that. So as you come around the back, you have two recovery shackle points at the back. So one located there, one located there. You want to triangle them out to a central point and pull from there if you ever have to use them. Above you've got your reverse camera as well. That'll come with a screen so that you can got proper reversing when you've got your van. And then you can see your two clip points at the top. That's when you want to put up the electric roof. So as we come around the front of the van, we'll skip the door for a sec, we'll hit on that when we go inside. We'll come to your bar area. So that just drops down nice and easy like that. Also an external mount for your TV with a recessed chopping board. You come to your kitchen area, you've got storage at the top, kitchen at the bottom. So setting this up very easy. You've got your two little blue handles in the corners, push them down, slide the unit out. You're gonna undo the little bungees to put your little wings over. 
and then you're going to reach up from under here, slide out your gas hose, and plug it into the gas bayonet. Easy as that. So when we get to the door, it's a two-piece door. So what that means is you lift the little black lever up, separate your two doors. You'll see there's a pin here and a pin there. When closing them, make sure you double click. And then the other trick I get a lot of phone calls about, locking your door. Very simple thing. You see just here and up the top, there's two dead bolts. Unless those dead bolts are out like this, the door won't lock. So the trick is close the door, push the handle to the side, to let your dead bolts engage, then put your key in. All right guys, that's the outside done. So what we're gonna do is we'll head inside. First things first, we've gotta put the roof up. And as you know with Oztrack, it's just the press of a button. So as we spoke earlier, the van does have two 120 litre fresh water tanks. So located just here is your hot water system, but also the ball valve to choose which tank you're gonna take the water from. So on this is an F and an R. Basically it's simple as point at the F at your front tank, put it to the R at your rear tank. Alrighty guys, using the toilet in the Talawana X15, really easy. Basically it's a three step process. Number one, you wanna put the seat up, pull this little slide out. That slide opens a little slide at the bottom. Number two, well that's up to you, it's either number twos or number one. Finally, once you've finished, you're gonna press the button at the rear to flush and then push your slide back in. Simple as that. All right guys, we have the brains trust here of all the hybrid caravans, uh, so let's go through it now. So what we'll do is open the door. So we have this button here and this is main switch. So think of this as master control for your van. If you wanna operate anything in your control panel, you need to have that on. So we turn that on now. As you can see, it lights up blue. Then as we go across on the buttons, first one here is your light. So this gives power to all the light switches and all the van. So at the moment you saw a couple of other lights come on, that means they're already switched on. So if I turn this one off, this one here is obviously the button on the left hand side of the van. This one's a button on the right hand side of the van. This one's a button for the right at the rear of the van. This one's dimming. So this changes your lights on the outside from white to yellow. Very easy like that. Dome light is the light directly above me and handle light is the, obviously the light in the handle. As we come along, you have power fridge here. So this gives power to not only your internal fridge, but the fridge slide outside. So if you want your fridges running, you have to have that switch on. Next one across Siggy socket. So if I turn that on, this gives power to all your 12 volt and USB points in the, in around the van. Next one, of course, is your pump. So that's your water pump. So if you turn that on, the pump will run. If you turn it off, the pump will stop. So I always say on when running and off when you're not using your pump. Above it, you have your indicators for the water. So you've got half a tank in the front tank. So you've got front tank, you've got rear tank, you've got grey water tank. Nice and easy like that. This is the switch to make your roof go up and down. Obviously, if you want your roof to go up, you hold it in. If you want the roof to go down, you hold it down. Below it is the switch for the awning. So up, let your awning come out. Down, let your awning come in. Neutral is sitting it in the middle. And then below it, we have the switch for your electric step as well. So obviously, you switch that one way, the step will go out. Switch it the opposite way, the step will come back in. This switch here is for when you're plugged into mains power and you are using your hot water off mains power. So flick that on, 20 minutes later you'll have hot water. If you're off grid, you need to use this switch here. So at the moment it's in neutral. So first thing you need to do is make sure that the vent covers off as we showed you outside. You want your gas bottles in the front compartment turned on and then you're gonna flick it to either 60 degrees or 70 degrees. So what we'll do is flick it up. You'll hear a little click in 20 minutes you should have hot water. So at the moment we have no gas in this van, so a little red light's about to come on. So see this red light here? That's telling you something's wrong. So what I would do, put it back in neutral, I'm gonna go and make sure my vent cover's clear, I'm gonna make sure my gas is turned on. The only other thing it might be is the pilot light didn't catch on the first go. But after checking both of those, I'll come back, I'll flick it again. You'll hear the click, 20 minutes later you'll have hot water. When you're not using it, always make sure it's off and you don't need to use this when using electricity. Below the electricity switch, you have the little switch for your inverter. So if you want to use 240 when you're off grid, you press this button here, red light will come on. That means all your power points are live. When, you fit, when you're not using your inverter, always make sure it's turned off. So make sure no red light because the inverter will keep inverting your batteries even if you're not using the 240. So last but not least, you have your Red Arc BMS 30 or your battery management system. 
So this has more functions than I'm gonna be able to explain now. So what I say is in your van right now, you're gonna have the manual. Make sure you give it a good read, and then that way you can use utilize all the best functions of the Red Arc BMS 30. So the last thing we're gonna to touch on in this handover is obviously setting up your electric awning. So what I'm gonna do is put the switch in the up position, and the awning is gonna start coming out. So it has to be supported out. So what I'm gonna do is drop one of the legs down, and I'm gonna set it on about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna go and grab the other leg. Same with that one. And now I'm gonna use the legs to support my awning out. Alrighty, easy as that. So guys, that wraps up the handover for the Talawana X15. I know you love the van as much as I did. I mean, after all, you just went and bought one. So now it's time to get out there and start making some memories. I really hope you enjoy it and happy camping, guys. Austrack. 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 Austrack.